right, now we're going to be adding and subtracting rational expressions. Um, this can be a little bit tricky because we have to find a common denominator. So I'm going to remind you about Fred and Ted. These are Fred and Ted. Um, these two brothers want to look exactly alike, but see, they're made on a page with ink. And in order to make them look alike, I can't erase anything. The only thing I could do would be add pieces to um, each of them. So, for example, if Fred wants to look like Ted, he's going to need a goatee. So I'd have to add a goatee to Fred. Looks like I'd need a bow tie on Ted. Uh, Fred needs a hat. And Ted needs glasses. Once you've done that, now I'm not an artist, so they will look exactly alike, but once you've done that, they are like. It would be like finding a common denominator. So th this is very similar. I had multiple pieces, a hat, glasses, a bow tie, that had to be added to each one. So finding a common denominator and for rational expressions is very similar. You can't ever take something away. You can only add pieces to. The problem is you have to know what pieces you have. So by pieces, I mean factors. So you must factor the denominator first. So if I'm looking at this example, 2x over x plus 2, that's already factored. That's already as simple as it's going to get. But the second fraction has a difference of two perfect squares on bottom. x minus 2, x plus 2. So now once I see that, this is like Fred and Ted. They all have to have the exact same pieces. So sometimes it helps to come over to the side and just go fraction by fraction and figure out what pieces you need in your LCD. This fraction has the piece x plus 2. I can't get rid of it, so I know it's going to be part of my LCD. This fraction has the piece x minus 2, so that's going to have to be part of my LCD because I can't get rid of it. But it also has x plus 2. Well, I've already put that in my LCD box, so I don't have to write it again. So this is what every fraction is going to have to have on bottom. Now I just go back to my rational expressions and figure out what pieces I might be missing. This fraction only has the x plus 2 on bottom, the first piece. So I need to, to make sure it has this second piece. So I'm going to multiply the bottom by x minus 2. Now remember with fractions, if you do something to the bottom, you must also do it to the top. So now, now I'm going to have to distribute on top because otherwise I don't know how I'm going to be able to add. So that would give me 2x squared minus 4x over my LCD of x minus 2x plus 2. Plus x minus 11, since this factor didn't this fraction didn't have to change, it already had the LCD. Now that I've done that, this is just like a regular fraction. The denominator is the common denominator, and you add across the top. 2x squared plus any other x squared. Well, I don't have any others, so it's just 2x squared. Minus 4x plus x would be minus 3x, and plus negative 11, so minus 11. And I look at it just to make sure that it doesn't factor. I, I check real quick in my head and think, mm, well, 2x squared minus 3x minus 11, will that factor? Uh, no, it doesn't factor, so I can move on. It, if it were to factor, I would factor it and see if anything would simplify. All right, so in order to determine what my LCD must be on number 6, I have to determine what pieces I have. I determine what pieces I have by factoring. So let's factor this first denominator. So it's going to factor as x plus 3, x plus 4. So that's this denominator. This denominator factors as well. It's a 2 and an x plus 4. So now if I want to determine what my LCD is going to be, I'm going to come over here to the side, and I'm going to create a little LCD box. And I'm going to write down each piece so I don't miss anything. My first fraction has one piece, x plus 3, and another piece, x plus 4. My second fraction has two pieces also, a 2 
Well, that's not in my LCD box, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. And an x plus 4. I've already written that one. So my LCD actually has three total pieces. So I need to make sure each fraction has all three pieces. My first fraction is missing the 2. So I'm going to put that 2 on both top and bottom. My second fraction is missing the x plus 3. I'm going to put that on both top and bottom. Now, before I can actually do my addition, I am going to have to distribute. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute this 2 on top and get 2x plus 12. I'm just going to write LCD just for the sake of simplicity right now. I'm going to distribute the 5, and I get 5x minus 15, and that's over the LCD. Now, this one has an extra little trick to it because it's subtraction. Subtracting a polynomial which means I have to distribute that subtraction sign. So I'm going to write this down as 2x plus 12 minus 5x minus 15. That would all be over my LCD. This is just, that's kind of an extra little step, but I just want to make sure I don't make any mistakes with my signs. And I can distribute the negative to both pieces. So this is now 2x plus 12 minus 5x plus 15 over the LCD. And when I work this out, I get negative 3x plus 27 over, now I'm going to go ahead and write in my LCD, 2x two two, x plus 3, x plus 4. Now looking at this problem, I think that my top will factor so I can, I'm going to go ahead and factor out a negative 3. And if I do that, I'm left with x minus 9 in parentheses. And I realize that after I have factored it, nothing simplifies, nothing cancels. So either of these two answers are correct. So that is adding and subtracting with an LCD. Now, let me go ahead and do one where you have more than one operation happening in the same problem. So, for example, let's do one. Let's do this one right here, number eight. Because I'm, I'm subtracting and adding in the same problem. But the process is still the same. I have to first find an LCD. And in order to find my LCD, I have to factor. So I'm going to first factor this denominator as x minus 2x plus 2. This denominator factors as x minus 2x minus 1. And my last one factors as x plus 2, x minus 1. So now let me find an LCD. I'm going to come over to the side and find my LCD. It has to contain all of the pieces. So I know it's going to have an x minus 2 and an x plus 2 from my first fraction. My second fraction has an x minus 2, which I've already written, and an x minus 1. So I have to add that to my LCD. My third fraction has an x plus 2, which I've already written, and an x minus 1. So there are three pieces to my GCF. I mean, my GCF, I'm sorry, my LCD. So now my first fraction is missing the x minus 1. So I'm going to start to rewrite this now. I need to add the x minus 1 on top and on bottom. So it'll be x minus 2, x plus 2, and the x minus 1 that I just put in. My second fraction is missing the x plus 2. I'm going to put that on top and on bottom. So I've got x minus 2, x minus 1, x plus 2. Plus, this last fraction is missing the x minus 2. And that's on both top and bottom. So I'm going to put it on both top and bottom. Now, my LCDs on bottom, they're in a different order. That's okay because multiplication is what we call commutative. can be done in any order. So as long as it has all three factors, it doesn't matter what order they're in. 
Now I'm going to distribute on top. I got 2x squared minus 2x, and now I'm just going to put LCD. Minus, now I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative at the same time that I distribute the 1. So it's going to be minus x minus 2 over the LCD. Now this one has to be foiled out. It's going to be x squared minus x minus 2 over the LCD. Now we can combine like terms. So I'm going to get, let's see, 2x squared plus x squared is 3x squared. Negative 2x minus x would be negative 3x minus another x would be minus 4x. Minus 2 minus 2, so minus 4, all over x minus 2, x plus 2, x minus 1. Now I want to check and see if this will factor. I think it will bottoms up method. So I get x squared minus 4, x minus 12. Factors of 12 that would give me 4. That would be x minus 6, x plus 2. I'll bring back the 3. If you don't remember bottoms up method, um, you can check with me and we'll work on that. All right, so this is actually replacing this triangle. So, I'm going to do that, and then we'll, then we'll be able to tell exactly what we'll cancel. So I'm going to have x minus 2 times 3x plus 2, sorry, I left my x off, over my LCD, which was x minus 2, x plus 2, x plus 1. And it looks like my x plus 2s, those factors are the same. That would be a 1, or they cancel, we like to say. So that gives me 3x plus 2 over x plus 2, x plus 1. That's a per perfectly acceptable answer. Actually, it's a minus 1, isn't it? I'm sorry, I miswrote that. Minus 1. Um, or you can FOIL that out, and you'll get 3x plus 2 over x squared plus x minus 2. So that's how you add and subtract rational expressions.